Hello, this is Easy, and I'm using ZBrush 4 R2. This is actually just a little tip if you are making custom brushes and they are crashing on you. All right, and um, if you find this tip very helpful, uh, please point anybody that you tell to this video or give me credit. All right. Now on these custom brushes, um, we'll select here and we'll go over to this uh, brush right here, the curve line tube, and uh, when we select something. All right, it's working as normal. Okay, these this is fine. Um, these are these are made with the curve mode on. All right. Now, when you make a custom brush, let's come over here and we'll go to the brush palette, and we'll select over here, and we're going to go down to the modifier, and we're going to select insert. All right. These are working fine because these are done with a 3D primitive. All right. These will crash on you if you use an OBJ or you use a poly mesh. All right, so we don't want to use one of these. All right, if I select this one here, this one will work fine. All right, let me control Z this to get this back here. All right, not a problem. Now, usually, what the problem is is when you. Uh, I'm going to load up my custom brush here. Now, this is an OBJ right here. All right. When I make my first stroke, okay, not a problem. Now, if I make another stroke, this program will freeze up on me and crash, all right? Another thing is, if I try coming over and edit this line, it will not work. It will cause it to disappear. Um, if I'm worried about that, I would just click somewhere on the uh, other reference mesh here, and it will deselect that, all right? So what is the step to fix the problem it's very simple all right before I make this next stroke okay because usually the next stroke will mess you up is I'm gonna hold a uh, the control key when I do it I'm just gonna click it once and it's gonna cycle the brush take a look over here and count of three one two three it's cycling and let go and I can draw again all right the line still up just don't touch it and click it all right just gonna tap the control key Click it one time so it cycles, and you can see over here when I click it one time. Just do that each time before you make another stroke. All right, this time I'm just going to use the shift key. All right, see what that does. All right, so we'll put the shift key and click and drag. So that's going to be a little tip on so these brushes don't crash on you. All right, let's do the draw size here, and we're going to go into the transform. We're going to turn this on. And we're going to really put it to the test here, so uh, I'm going to drag up, let go, hold the control key, click, do it again, and before I make my next step, control key, click. And let's bring that back a little bit. Hold the control key. Now see I'm getting now I'm getting a lot of stuff in here, so I need to just select that and I'm gonna come in here and just do something crazy. Alright, I think that's gonna wrap up this part of the uh, tutorial. And thank you very much. Well not actually a tutorial, just a little tip.